What's poppin' is Enzo McFly. It's your girl, your car keys, I am. She what it do, man. This your boy, ESG. What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Angry here. It's your boy, Mikey Iso. What's up? It's your girl, Desiree Simone. Hit 22 Radio, man. Y'all know what's going down. The biggest blood in America. Hey, man, you already know who it is. DJ Me What's going on, man? It's comedian Jeff Shelley. What's good, words? Homie DJ Chosen. Say, man, it's Wapi Puerto Rico, man. Baby boy, baby girl. It's your girl, B. Simone, and we catch. What's up, Houston? It's your boy, Quay. I just wrapped a dope ass interview with Catch 22. What's up, y'all? It's Kim Somager, Hip Hop Weekly Magazine editor in chief, and I'm kicking it with my people at Catch 22 Radio. And I'm trying to be in the next member of Thick and. What is Thick and Nasty. Yo. Join me in there. <laughs> 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 on. <laughs> you're now rocking with the voice of the South. C Catch 22 radio show on 92kills.com. Still can't count. Oh, last time did that shit. Oh, do feel it this yeah. I like it. We back. took me to work. Huh? You took yourself to work. You took yourself to work. I didn't even realize I was doing it. When you talk to people money, like certain things just come out to you. Uh-uh. You know, you got all humble and stuff. Guys, we were talking about money, right? <laughs> came back in. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back. This is Catch 22 Radio Show. I could be professional. We, I am Tay, I am Brian, and I am Drew. Wait, what? And it's <laughs> Whoa, wait. That's why that man think we're a sex group. That's why he said that. Because he I'm said Drew. something like this. Because we Drew. are. I'm all of y'all. And we have another special guest in the building. Oh, yeah, okay. Sure. This is family, y'all. This That's ain't even time. a special guest. Right. What do you mean, at, Kim? Kim so major is in the building. What's yeah, popping? Out in the lobby waiting. I'm no, sorry. Say the sorry. best for last. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we going to give you the whole no, show. He's like a babysitter. Oh, man. Nope. <laughs> Babies. No, absolutely not. My kids is good. They are so good. Thank I'm you. like, I need to interview you on some parenting skills. I'm Yo. like. I'm telling her whoopings work. Oh, my yeah, God. <laughs> <laughs> you don't whoop your kids. Even no. the one year old. I can't even remember last time no, I whooped my kids. They were so calm. just the energy. They're so calm, like <laughs> chilling. I was like, "How old are you? Ten and eight. I'm like, "Oh my god, my nephews would have been all over the place." <laughs> <laughs> like, Gotta tell your sister. In the parking lot. Now, Kim, when you first walked in, because all the kids came in before you, and I was like. Who are they? <laughs> I can bring all the kids to this. <laughs> oh, you thought they were my kids? I yeah, thought the other kids were oh, sure. no. <laughs> How unprofessional is that? <laughs> what you try, hold on. What you trying to say? <laughs> what you trying to say? <laughs> so, like, you work here. You work here. It's different. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> so what's been going on with you, Kim? Huh? What's oh, been going on everything. I'm blessed to be here. Thanks for having me, guys. We excited yeah, to have you I'm here. working, just grinding. You always on the go. Now, you done been everywhere um, from L.A. to Cal... Well, Cali and L.A. is the same. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> L.A. to New York. You've been all over the yeah. place. Explain to people who you are and what you do. Okay, well, I'm Kim. I go by a.k.a. Kim So Major. Yeah. That's a name that I acquired, like, just a long time ago when I was on air or trying to get on air, trying to be an on-air personality. So then I just kept it for writing, started writing for um, Hip Hop Weekly magazine and eventually became the editor-in-chief. And wow. I do um, PR for, like, artists and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. I saw just you. Just working. I mean, a lot of writers do PR, too, so it's not anything, like, crazy. But I'm not – I don't like to say I'm a publicist, per se, because I don't do – everything and right. I don't want to really be writing that much. So. Right. so a lot of people don't know the difference, Kim. What's the difference between a PR and a publicist? Well, no, PR is the service, so it's abbreviation, public relations. Right. So I do PR, provide public relations services, but a publicist, um, a publicist should have a huge scope of just like all these things, you know, and I don't have all those things. So that's why I don't say I'm a publicist. I don't have like a, a email list of like 40,000 people. Right. I don't pay for these like, you know, calendar events that come in. You know, I'm pretty much just, I know media because I'm at media. Right. So I use my resources to help artists and brands get to where they're going to go. Okay. But I'm not like a publicist. Right. Yeah. So what part did you play in a uh, Stallion's career? Cuz I saw you with her a lot before the 300 deal and everything. Oh. So um really just supporting her um on the journalist side, you oh. know, like when I first heard about her, just started posting her online. Um we we do at Hip Hop Weekly um we do events during South by Southwest and also A3C. Mm -hmm. So um I had her we had her um on our stage for two well 
we tried to get her on there. I think it was um, 2017, but it was that was the year that we had that big hurricane. Oh yeah. yeah. So they couldn't make it out there. Then it was like a storm in October that hit here, so they wasn't able to make it out here. But she performed um, March last year at our South by Southwest mm. um, event, and then um, yeah, just from there we had actually she's in this issue of the magazine that came out last year. She's under our. Um, it's next to blow. Mm-hmm. So we featured her in that. <clears throat> and then I just really became like build a rapport with um, her management at the time. And just, you know, we were talking and she's like, oh, do you do you do this? You do that. So this is next to blow in Hip Hop Weekly magazine. Okay. And there's uh, Megan featured. That was last year. Wow. So we do try to like, you know, best, especially with me being in Houston, not to change subjects, but me being in Houston, I like to highlight you know, Houston talent, yes. because I feel like that was one of the things really that got me with the brand is I reached out to them on Twitter and was like, I want to be a correspondent in mm-hmm. Houston to show Houston Night Live, to show this is the fourth largest city. Like, why aren't people right. taking music more seriously here coming out of the city? So that's really how I got with them. So for me not to be able to use the platform when I'm at this level to highlight up and coming artists and talent and brands and even entrepreneurs and people in the community, to me, that just would be a disservice. But going back to your question about Megan, um, when you see me around her, that was a press a press run okay. that I put together for her to go to New York. Mm-hmm. So we did the big major outlets um, that, that are out there. We had like BET and Music Choice, um, Revolt. We had a whole bunch of things set up for her that I was not privy to that she was actually signed to signing to 300 because Uh the day we arrived, she signed, they signed, you know, when they got there, I got there that night and I seen all of it on Instagram. I was like, dang, okay. (laughs) Like, you know, wow. She's like up there, up there, you know what I'm saying? But we had already had literally everything already itinerary locked in. But it was just funny after she signed, then people who were like ignoring me for the past six (laughs) weeks were calling me like, oh, is Megan still available? Uh, No, she's not. (laughs) (laughs) We booked her busy. Yeah, no, but I was like, let me check her management because again, um, as a service I provide, it's just basically to help the artist. I'm not making, I didn't make any decisions in her career. I didn't, you know, was it that's her strictly her management, her team. Mm -hmm. You know, they hired me to provide a service, which I was grateful to do. We had a great run. Um, Angela, Lip, um, Angela Yee with Lip Service. That yeah. was real fun. I saw that. You know, that was a real good thing. Went to Complex. Went to Billboard before she even is on have yeah. a Billboard song. So yeah. I just thought that was good. I was like, hey, I'm in here, you know. Yeah. So, you know, because normally to have a sit down with Billboard, you have to have be on the charts. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if they already knew what was going on behind the back scenes, but I sure did. So I was genuinely, like, excited about that placement. Yeah. Awesome. Any yeah. other artists in the city of Houston that we need to be looking out for? Um, the artist that I'm working with now, which is um, one of my clients, definitely um, OTB Fastlane. Oh, yeah. So, sure. yeah. So sure. I just ju- um, jumped on. We did some work last year um, with him, and I just came on board earlier this, like, the end of last year for sure. Just I'm on the bus now. <laughs> I'm on the bus. So you being, like, a writer or, you know what I mean, um, Editor in chief, do you ever write any like bad reviews? Um, as far as it, no. Why? Oh no, I, no, I don't. I don't review. Like mm. I have, um, I don't do that. Oh. Now I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't have to do that. I, I'm pretty much. Um, you know, I'll check something. You know, I'll check something out, and if it's not like in line, then I'll tell them like, uh, "You're gassing." You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's not all that. You know, like go back. But I try to be real, uh, not um, non-objective when it comes to another writer's work uh-huh. and their perspective, um, because everything it you know comes from someone's perspective and their identity. So you'll so. never tell them it's up. Oh yeah, I definitely will. I mean, if there's things that. Um, formatically have to check off like it has to be sonically okay like it has to meet the criteria for basic music industry standard now a taste level or you know a a style that's all in someone's particular taste you know Mm. so i don't i don't go on judge those things right you know what i personally listen to is not what we write about so what do you listen to (laughs) you know i mean i like big crit i mean not that we don't we just gave him an award no i just gave him we just had presented him an award in Atlanta. But I'm just saying, like, what drives Millennial to today is not, like, the music that I just listen to all the time. So right. what do you listen to? That's the to? music I listen to. 
Um, yeah, he listen. He listen. He listen to like fifteen year old music. Yeah, yeah. No, I like. Um, I like Buddy. I'm listening to Buddy right now. Mm-hmm. Out of L. A. I like OTP Vaseline. Of course, I listen to him all the time. Um, I like um, the new called. I like Kodak Black. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know, sure. um, Savage. You know, Big yeah. Crit. You know, but I'm like an old school hip hop head to to yeah. art. So I yeah. like real rap shit. I like oh. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Stuff. <laughs> Stuff, yeah. I like, you know, that old rap. Like, I'm still on Nas. I'm still on all of Kanye's old catalog, so. Yeah. Why yeah. do you yeah. listen to Nas? Huh? Why do you listen to Nas? Oh, Why like, do I listen to Nas? Because he's one of the goats. One of the best ones. One of the goats? Yeah. yeah one of the greatest of all time? Yeah, yes. For sure. Like, who's greatest of all time? I'm sorry. Hip hop great- <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry, what? Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, like the greatest. Like Tupac, Biggie, Nas. Yes. Yeah. No, oh, what? DMX. Tupac, Busy. And you put Nas in that group? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's oh, up right. there with Jay Z. Like, he's yeah. definitely not. I even say Buster's up there. Buster too. Oh, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> come on, look, 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 look. You had, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, like I was just giving you smoke yeah. with Nas. You had an argument with Nas. <laughs> But then you said Buster. Why? How could you deny? Buster's how could you? Buster is probably the best Buster. remix artist ever. Ever. But when you talk about his solo, that's an pro- insult. That's an insult because we talking about somebody who's been in the music business longer than you've been alive. No, I'm thirty. Longer than he's been Hip-hop. in the music business longer than you've been alive. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Hey, Buster's hey, damn near Snoop, fifty years Snoop, old. Still, Snoop, Snoop been in, the, in their life. Nobody's hits. putting him at, at like the greatest of all. Well, time. he should yeah, be though. Right. He should He's be. He's not, y'all. He's not Ross. Ross. I think we should didn't be make up our, there. He didn't make our top twenty-two. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Go look. He was an honorable mention. No, he didn't. Oh, that's oh, crazy. Thank we you. sound like thank trash. You. Yeah, yeah. Prove my point. Now that's crazy. Buster didn't make it neither. Why you talking over there? I'm trying to focus on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But I just keep looking at Kim Bag. I know that's real alligator. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably Shout gonna bite you. Shout out to Killer Cassie. She gave me this bag. I love you, baby. Oh yeah, that's real. That's <laughs> Kim real ain't alligator. Gonna do nothing less <laughs> than the bag. <laughs> Listen, I'm frugal. Don't play with me. <laughs> I yeah, am. but she got you a good one. Uh, bro, you got a brand new Benz. <laughs> you got alligator no, I, bags. I crashed my Benz. Oh, you got a Beamer now. Yeah. Welcome to I'm about to say she's light skinned. She can't drive. Welcome to. Oh, yeah. Light skins can't drive. Definitely One day Kim was following behind me and she almost hit me. That's a lie. Kim, this Kim? You that oh, Kim? So Kim so major. <laughs> Kim so almost we wrecked to, me. I think we were going to a rehearsal and you was driving behind me. I said, ooh, please let her hit the brakes. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> okay, so that's how you're going to do me. <laughs> All right, I got you. I got you, Tay. That's a bet. So which one do you actually, uh, which you going being in media and being on the radio, which one do you actually prefer? The uh, radio or Man, I love being on the radio. I prefer being on the radio all day long. Yeah. Yeah. So you do this all day? Yeah, definitely. I I love being in the studio, period. So Mm -hmm. whether it's being an audio engineer, doing commercials, being live on the radio, podcasting, I just love the studio environment. Like, I'm the type of person that could hear that recycled beat, like, a thousand times and never get tight. Tired of it. Oh no, wow. that's not me. No, I did. I, I, t- I think that was t- a hint t- after she changed. I, I think that was what you were saying. <laughs> no. You've been riding the no, same no, instrument. No, 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 I and if I drunk. wake up and you're still on the same song, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm an alcoholic because I got to be drunk doing that. No. <laughs> hey, John, we're about to go into a quick mix with DJ FX. When we come back, we got some more with Cam So Majors. Catch you yeah, yeah. radio show. So. I'm not gonna let him just say no, 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 no. We're no. back. So it's we're back. It's Catch Me Two Radio Show. show. Uh, we're catch we got Tay, Kim Drew. So Major. We got Kim So Major in the building. Drew is trying to speed past all of this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's come back in. So, okay, thank you, Tay. So what I'm saying is, look, look, we was off air and we were still discussing the Busta Rhymes situation. Okay. I'm not saying that Nas isn't dope. What I'm saying is she said that Busta was one of the greatest. If yeah. I say name a Nas album, y'all can name me Nas' albums. Because y'all know that he's dope. 
If I say name me a J album, you can name me a J album. You can name me a Pac album. You can name me a Biggie album. I can name I you just, a Bow Wow album. I just asked yeah, y'all. Just because she can name album don't mean that. I just look, 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 look. But yeah, all y'all who are about mean anything. No, no. Just, I just said all y'all that are vouching for him being the greatest can't name me a Buster album without googling it. Bow Wow the greatest because I, I can definitely name his. One of the greatest. He's up. He's one of the greatest. If his, I'm saying one of the greatest, his then legacy, I, mm, his ability to stay relevant through when the last gen- time there has been so many people who were one like one hit wonders like right. if Chingy came out and put out a he new, had two hits okay like okay, <laughs> the, if, he had three Mims yes. right there if Mims uh, if Mims came like okay. you not Chain gonna angle. be like Ch- but like at least Busta he still gets the interest peak like he's been able to I'm gonna tell you that I probably know wave still be relevant I know probably I know all go more than I know any <laughs> Busta song ever I know it's gonna make gonna that's make, a gonna taste make thing. your body pay. Uh, I know that's gonna make, gonna make that's your so hard. I mean, like, so many, oh, so, so many. many. Bring it back, watch your Woo-ha. turn it. I mean, this is like I'm this is going check. back. What? Yeah. Well, look, I got a question. Show. What albums are these on? It's this on, a different. I don't know. Y'all name it's it. It's on the Buster Rhymes album. Listen, it's on it's on the <laughs> Buster Rhymes Essentials. That's what it's on. It's on out of thirty. Y'all name five, four, five songs. So while we talk about this, when it comes to albums and things like that, and the way that times have changed, right? Mm-hmm. So Offset just had a recent interview where he said that the old dudes need to kiss their feet, the new dudes' feet. Why? Because they are keeping hip hop alive. What do you think about that, Kim? No, I don't think so. I don't think they're keeping hip hop alive. There's so much music out there that's exactly. out not beyond mainstream music. There's so much music. Just because people only listen to songs on the radio. Right. Listen, there is many other artists out there, many other genres, many other fans, different type of fans. It's it's a lane for everybody. Right. And that's what Hip Hop Weekly is about. That's blasphemous, yeah. Covering though. Covering the entire for him culture. To say that. For that's him to say kiss. And Lupe the, went in the on the entire culture. I'm talking yes. about, like, 2 Chain is probably older than, like, old enough to be his daddy. Like, yeah. And he just dropped an album, and it's dope. Yeah, exactly. I didn't get a chance to listen to it. It's, it's good. It's good. So when it comes to the industry, because you, you work with artists. Because think about it. Like, just like the people who grew up with like a Busta Rhymes. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you keep throwing that at you, bro. <laughs> the people who grew up with a Busta Rhymes. It's like Houston people growing up with Lil Flip. I get it. You know, they, okay, they want still like the music they can rock out to. So those mm-hmm. artists should still, you know, make it because they're not in the streets or whatever, like before or doing certain things, your life changes. So why can't you have music to reflect where you're at? That's right. why you listen to Jay-Z. Um, I don't know. He covers it all. He covers it all. <laughs> T.I. Like covers it all. He, you they like Jay? It. I love Jay. You, Why you, you make that face? No, I just made that face because I think that Jay has always made the type of music he makes. He makes a music where he be capping. That's the music. He makes motivational music. Now that he's older, he talks about more social things that are going I on. Think the cap, but but I, I do he, think the he, cap is different, though. Yeah, well, it is because he's... You know, he right. got, he, but he's always been from Big Willie, from Reasonable Doubt. He's been out the gate like that. So I still feel like there's a lane for other voices. Yeah. You know, Real Smith still rapping too, and he's been rapping for 30 years. Is yeah, he, he's, he's the not the same. Why is it not? Why not? not? Okay, he's, well, I was summertime. Now, why you summertime. Oh, pants just don't understand. Songs. If we start talking about hits like that, he did like. a freestyle on one of them uh, challenges and mm-hmm. went in. Okay. Went crazy. Okay. Welcome to Miami. He, he, Get Jiggy with it. Men in black. Oh, yeah. I'm naming mm. Biggie Hister Buster so Rhymes. <laughs> Wild Wild West <laughs> with Kumo D. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was, I mean. Just the two okay. of us. <laughs> Just the two of us is a hard song. It is. It's one of the best songs of all time. Yep. So you don't like Will? Yeah, definitely. You just like Buster more? <laughs> you're, so, you're so politically correct. Which one, which one you like nah, better? I'm acting Will or rapping Will? Acting Will, for sure. That's because acting, acting Will, will sure. cuss. Nah, because I never was into goofy rap. You know, I grew up on... Oh, you're oh. goofy. Well... <laughs> That's going to be the title of your interview. Kim So Major calls Will Smith goofy. goofy no, it was like funny, like silly. Like I was really in the trenches. Like Mob D wet them up. Like shirts wet, you know? Oh, like, you like, also, you like Headsprung by LL Cool J. Huh? <laughs> What? You like head sprung by LL Cool J, right? Head sprung. Oh, I remember when that came out. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where are you from? Kid? That's a, that's another. No, because she's naming all these New York rappers. Yeah. Where I'm are you from? from? Boston, Massachusetts, Roxbury, okay. the home of sense. New Edition. 
A Mark Wahlberg. Really? <laughs> and, and a lot of white folks. <laughs> no, it's at Roxbury. That's a lot of white folks. No, it's not. It's Massachusetts. It's, uh, no, Roxbury is all black. Where? You think so? It's segregated. I know so. Have you ever been there? Nope. Nope. Yeah, it's, I like, it sound like it's I not go. diverse like Houston. Like Boston is set up where it's all separate. Uh, yeah, wow. it's all separate. Like you. So you're a Patriots fan? Yeah, for Celtics? sure. Yeah, Bruins. So you got racism. Red there. Sox, all that. Yeah, for y'all sure. Y'all still segregated. It's racist everywhere. <laughs> y'all still segregated? Yes. Y'all can't still be segregated. <laughs> yes, we are. If the South is not segregated, well, y'all can't still y'all be segregated. Y'all slavery. We didn't have slavery, so we didn't have to desegregate anything. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> we didn't have to desegregate. Oh. We didn't have slavery. <laughs> we didn't, oh. though. But that that's, that's the mentality oh. of, of northern white people. Like, we didn't enslave you, but stay over there. Okay, so. You know? Oh, wow. So, which one of like your family members was into like forbidden love? Because you, you, you light light, <laughs> you the light light. light. You light light. <laughs> if y'all was segregated, somebody was crossing that line. <laughs> somebody crossed those. What you, be what you mix with? Because <laughs> <laughs> look, you said y'all segregated, so it's either black or white. Yeah. Like, Who did it? You light. You in between. So yeah. somebody had to cross that segregation line. Both my line. parents was on the same side. Who did mm-hmm. the Romeo and Juliet? <laughs> <laughs> somebody messed with a monster. Slavery. <laughs> <laughs> the same that did the Romeo and Juliet with y'all, but y'all just don't see it. Okay, Uh-oh. we all uh, we all mixed up. We Indian. My granny Indian. Okay. She told me that. My mama black and my daddy black up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what my daddy is. He don't come around. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. With the, industry, <laughs> with the industry the way that it is now, is it easier for you to put your artists out there? Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Is easier? Yeah. With the social media. Do you feel like it's kind of watered down now? Because I'm seeing people saying successful is 88,000 streams. And back in the day, that would be considered a flop to albums. Especially with streaming being so accessible and so convenient. 88,000 Streams is the number one album these days. It is? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's terrible. That. It's awful. Because they ain't making no money off the stream. Nothing. Not with 88. Been, right. <laughs> so That's would you prefer eight, this this day and age cents. or back in the day? Mm, I definitely have to say now because, I mean, you just have the tools, I mean, to do everything yourself. Like, it affects not only music but podcasting, radio stations, writing, blogging. Like, everything has changed. Technology has made us be able to connect with so many different people. I would not go back to typing on a computer when I could just type on my phone. So do you don't think that you're influenced? <laughs> I mean, uh, a typewriter. <laughs> I'm a typewriter. I'm about to say, I you still type on computer. <laughs> so I, I do have a question. Do you you don't think like with your with your staple at, at Hip Hop Weekly would be more of an influence then than it would be now? Yeah, it definitely would be more of an influence. Like, because, you know, people idolize, like, oh, publications. Even celebrities were idolized. You know, now you right. can just tweet them. Like, oh, you ain't nobody. If I see somebody, psh, whatever. You know, right. but before, like, oh, my God, that's so I can't right. believe they're around me. You know, so everything has changed. But, you know, we always going to have change. So, so who's way. the most bougie, like, celebrity you've been around? <laughs> She's got to think about it. She got it's a lot of bougie Um, Yeah, I mean, people are so fake. <laughs> I, heard, I know that. Yeah. I know people that for a fact. People are so fake. You know, yeah. it's always the ones that don't have a reason to be that be doing the Name most. Name them. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, she just got to round this question. <laughs> you got to name them. Uh-huh. You got to say something. Say Somebody's that. name. Oh, what was the question? <laughs> Who's the bougiest? The bougiest. Yeah. The one that you didn't think was going to be like that. Like the one that killed your spirit. Killed, wait, what? Oh, killed your spirit. Oh, no, I'm I can kill my spirit, honey. Okay, can we do a quick story time with me? Yeah, let's All right, go. All right, let's do it. All right, so that was this one day. Like, we were out to eat, and there was this guy outside taking out the trash. And one of our <laughs> fellow people went outside and said, oh, my God, it's a guy outside looks just like Scarface, but he said he's just a crab man. So the man walks back in. And I look, I said, hey, bro, that is Scarface. So I called him over there, and I said, why did you tell my friend that you were the crab man? He said he asked a stupid question. I gave him a stupid answer. <laughs> Dang, Lady Bob. <laughs> so, it was our producer. That, that happened to our producer. That so happened to him. It hurt his feelings, so he, he walked back over and said, dang, bro, you never meet your idols. You're not supposed to never meet your idols, something like that. So but, I just want to know, was there to... anybody that you met that you felt like, dang, I didn't think this person was going to be like this? Like an asshole. Yeah. Oh. 
Butthole. Butthole. Anus. Don't even say that. Um, I'm such a nice person. It's hard because I probably blacked it out, but I know it has been some people I'm truly disappointed in meeting. Um, but then I always be like, oh, maybe it was a bad day. Oh, um, you know, I, I, oh, that's She's how right. I am, am generally. <laughs> I, but I want to give y'all something. I'm trying to think who really. R. Kelly. Oh, Plies. Plies. Oh, wow. Yes. Really? He seems so nice on, no, on social media. He was so rude to me. We was at a club and I was, I was maybe the one and only female photographers. And I'm trying to get pictures of him. And he was not giving me no play. And I'm following him around the club like every all the other guys. And I'm like, Plies, Plies, Hip Hop Weekly, Plies, can you give a shout out? Him and Bootsy was there. Bootsy, oh, oh, you hip hop weekly? He pulled me in a section. Oh, love you, dad. Did my drops in this. So I'm like, okay, let me try plies again. I seen him. I just, as soon as I put my camera up, he look away. I'm like, damn, why are you doing me like that? Then he, then he came over to me and was like, you take your job too seriously. I was like, excuse me? You should have told him, I got drip. I was say. like, you know, <laughs> I got drip. I had say. my little Kim So Major shirt on. So I was like, okay, remember my name. Because if you want someone to work on your team that's serious, then holla at me. Right. Mm. Like, I do take my job seriously. You're right. It's, it's called integrity. That's weird. Yeah. But but he was showing love to all the dudes. Mm. But oh, me, it was a problem. Uh, Somebody just says, plus, like spin. Oh. Uh, like, <laughs> he prefers me. <laughs> First Will Smith was I'm a goofy saying, rapper, like, and then Plaza prefers me. No, this is going to go viral. The thing is, I'm not a size one. I'm not. I'm working. Like, right. why are you you letting bops in your section? You letting a whole bunch of guys bopping on you, but you giving me the cold shoulder. Right. So it's like, to me, I don't like, you know, I, so, Does yeah. that happen often? Of course. It does, definitely. I mean, we just seen on, you know, I don't know if y'all seen it, but, like, supposedly they were saying Future was in Miami. Oh, and you like, said no fat girls? Yeah, no, fat, no fatties, no plus-side girls in the club or whatever. You know, I'm not, I'm not surprised, but it probably was the club. But, you know, who knows? So, it could have been his people that said it. You know, right. we want a certain look. It could right. be the PR. You know, this event is going to be a certain look. So When I go out, my section going to be heavy. It happens. But I don't, you know, I don't <laughs> care. Like, heavy. I used to literally dress in, like, big T-shirts, hats, just so I wouldn't be, you know, so I would have that respect of the guys. Right. You know, but then I I realized it's not even me. It's exactly. not even about me. It's you about y'all. You're in the industry issues. for that, Kim. You got to exactly. have the girls out. <laughs> Boom. Look, you would pay no, no, then, you, then it's no type of respect. The work is not done. It's all type of distractions. Like, y'all, well, I mean, y'all so need could help you, staying so could focused. So you best with a man in, in your industry? Yeah, you I have. The same thing? Yeah, I have before. Yeah, okay. Because mm-hmm. I know you talk about the respect side of it. So I was just yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, no, I mean. Kim Light Skin, she probably get disrespectful. Like, ah, uh-huh. you ain't that good. Uh-huh. You suck at your job. Big, big man. Nah, I do not believe you in You use your and not your. black man, sorry. What you said? That's not me. What I don't say? believe in demasculating black men So, look, you said a big word that I didn't even know what it meant, so you couldn't even hurt my feelings she if said you said it. I don't know what masturbating She said, I don't nope. believe in masturbating black men. You don't believe in masturbating black men. masturbating black men. Yeah, she, she demasturbating people. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Y'all play too much. Now, you, this is a topic that we bring up a lot much. here, um, and I just want to know what your thoughts on it. <laughs> um, before scared. we get out of here, because we got we only got a couple minutes, so I just want to throw this out here real quick. Um, Pornhub is like a really big platform, right? Okay. It's probably one of the biggest. <laughs> okay. So, are you putting yourself on Pornhub? No, I'm not. Why not? You don't have to show your face. You don't I have know, to show your somebody, face. You I want to do like I have pretty feet, so I might do that feet fetish thing. I've been thinking about that. You can make or like, wheels, or bro. any people like into like belly rolls yeah. that I could just do like the belly roll yeah, part. Yeah, that's I money. It's big money in that fetish. It yep. is. Oh, yeah. nah, yeah, you just got to put your tag as Kim So Major. I no, I need some PR. I need some PR for your feet fetish. Really? I got you, bro. I've really been thinking about this. That that's why you asked. I'm surprised. Yeah, this might be alignment. So yeah, if I want to be a porn so star, could you be my PR? I think she yeah, can. Yeah, I could. Okay, cool. Yeah, definitely. I think she can. It just, the publishers just need to do a lot of research. They need to know, like, literally. What angles? Yeah, the angles, <laughs> research, <laughs> and um, how thorough you are. Okay. Yeah. Very thorough. Because I've been thinking about Pornhub sure. a lot, and yeah. I saw a meme yesterday that said, would you rather have a video of you getting beat up or your sex tape leaked? 
Sex tape. I said sex tape easily. Oh, yeah. I'm amazing. Yeah, sex I'm tape. amazing. It's, it, that's a lot of money on on the line. Well, it depends if you have. Don't you have to be somebody for them? No, nope, my... no, not for what I do. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna click hey. on the oh, string. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna lie. I felt embarrassed because they said if you know who these people are, then you don't pull her up too much. And it was Rock and Shay. I said. Uh, I know that. <laughs> you know everybody. Yeah, I like, I know listen, them. Pornhub is the place to be. All right, Kim, thank you so much for stopping thank by. Thank you for everybody having me. find you on social media? Kim So Major, K-I-M-S-O-M-A-J-O-R. And, oh, before we get out of here again, I have a group. I'm looking at this magazine. You put Meek on it, so I know we can get on it. Um, <laughs> wow. I don't want to be on no magazine that's the masturbating me. <laughs> <laughs> And we're in a gospel station, guys. No, we're not. Uh, <laughs> That's the freakiest station you don't come to. It's gospel over there. This is a gospel station. Yes, it is. Hey, my grandma said if you do it Monday through Saturday, you can do it on Sunday. Exactly. So we have a group. The name of the group is Thick and Nasty, okay? Mm-hmm. Thick and Nasty? Thick and Nasty, okay? okay. So Thick and Nasty is me and Drew. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm we like Brian. Why are you look at me like that? I'm he's our manager. manager. Okay. I had um, wrote a song one time. It's called I Spit On It. I don't know. Oh, I can't see, probably... she nasty. <laughs> <laughs> she nasty. What? Kim so major is. Well, Kim, you got a lot of plugs on this one. She's, she's spitting on it. <laughs> Will Smith about? is goofy. <laughs> I'm just saying. And she like, demasturbates people. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I'll take you to through the ball off, Kim. Well, anyway, I'm their manager. Uh, but I don't know what it was. Let's go ahead and go into it with y'all. I don't even know what we were saying. She's spitting on it. I don't know. Uh, it just reminded me because you said thick and nasty. What were you spitting so on? I was like, no, it was just Because it's song. thick and nasty. Uh-huh. So whatever, whatever so it is. Where you get your you inspiration it, from. You right. sure it's right. Where did you get your inspiration from? It was a long time ago. I don't remember. Ooh, <laughs> we're going right. to have to figure that out. All right, y'all. We got to get up out of here. Uh, thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> to Leah J, Isaac, and Kim So Major for stopping by and kicking it with yeah, us. Yeah, we yeah. had a great show today. Kim, you got to come back kicking with us. You actually going to be my at hat. the anniversary. I'm I sure I am. I promise. So she's going to be doing live coverage at the anniversary. It's I just want to touch the bag. Oh, I thought you, oh, I thought you was about to say something else. <laughs> and, I mean, she's spitting on it. You can arrange it. <laughs> <laughs> Voice of the South, Kicking Edge 22 Radio Show on LegendaryKills.com. And gotta wait to make a move to Dobby. Hello, why you watch a drink of 40?